Some of you have been diagnosed with something called mastoid effusion or mastoid air cells, and you feel a little uneasy. You feel a little lethargy. You're feeling the swollenness, the heaviness, the pain, the sensations of air pressure built up, and you just don't know how to get rid of it. Well, I'm going to explain a little bit about mastoid air cells and some natural remedies you can do at home to help remedy that for you. Mastoid air cells are like small air pockets in the bone behind your ear. Normally, they're filled with air and help regulate air pressure, but sometimes they can fill up with fluid instead of air, which is why it's called mastoid diffusion. Think of it like a balloon. When the balloon is filled with air, it's light and flexible, but when it's filled with water, it becomes heavy and rigid. That's kind of what happens in the mastoid air cells when they fill up with fluid. It can cause discomfort, hearing problems, and even lead to infections. You may have heard of something called mastoiditis, which is basically a bacterial infection affecting the air cells within the mastoid bone. And it can really be brought on by a lot of issues uh, from acute otitis media, which is a middle ear infection. And it can really trickle down into a lot of areas. You notice a lot of small children can be diagnosed with this issue, but adults can get it as well. And when adults get it, it can affect a lot of areas of the body. It can affect the neck. It can affect swollenness around the neck region, in the ear, fluid buildup, and just overall weighing down on your mood. And it's very difficult to not only treat this issue, you see it being treated a lot with antibiotics, but it can go beyond the antibiotic treatment method. It really can get into the mental health of things. One powerful thing, or I should say a few powerful things you can try to get rid of some of these issues with mastoiditis or mastoid effusion is you want to start leaning more into the herbal side of things. When I was diagnosed with eustachian tube dysfunction, I did a lot of research, a lot of Googling, a lot of time trying to figure out ways to naturally heal myself while kind of excluding some of those uh, harmful medications that can put a lot of strain on the body. One thing I really dove into was looking more into an herbal treatment. One thing I discovered was echinacea. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial herb that's going to help not only help fight infections, it's going to help boost the immunity. And when you're dealing with an issue like uh, mastoiditis or problems like this, uh, air cell buildup, fluid buildup, you want to boost your immunity, but you also want to reduce inflammation and you want to get on an anti-inflammatory diet. The best thing and you can incorporate are herbal treatments because these are things you can do on the go. You can get a good hefty amount of herbal treatments and herbal type of uh, teas. You can get types of supplements. You can get that in bulk. You want to be sure, of course, to get high quality herbal treatment options. But these are things that I really dove into because it just suited me very well. I was a very busy individual. I didn't have a whole lot of time to invest in going to facilities and getting treatment that way, you know, certain spas and treatment centers. So I needed something that I can do on the go while still work my day-to-day -day lifestyle and take care of my family. Now, Echinacea was a great herbal remedy that I could put into my tea. They have them in tea form, powder form, supplement, pill form. There's so many forms. They even have them in gummies, things like that. They're going to help you get some of that inflammation out of there, build up your immunity, and that's going to help you heal. Another one is golden seal. Look into golden seal. Very powerful herb. I used to put this into a powder form again. It can be the best for me was tea because I was really consistent on drinking tea in the morning. I would wake up, get a little bit of my golden seal, and they have it. They sell it in a tea bag, organic tea bags that you can put in you know, boiling water and you can get your good golden seal that way. Of course, I've mentioned this all the time, turmeric and ginger. So these four powerful herbs are going to help you. Golden seal, echinacea, uh, turmeric, and ginger are, were the four powerful remedies, things that you can do in a tea form. It's nothing easier than drinking tea, especially if you're on the go. You don't have a lot of time. Grab yourself a, a good tea of any of those four that I just named herbs. Go on your busy lifestyle, do your thing, and you're still getting those benefits. So again, if you're dealing with something like, like um, otitis media, or you're dealing with problems with the mastoid process, air cell buildup, fluid buildup, you want to do the best thing you can to set yourself up to be consistent. You don't want to do anything too complicated and too difficult because you're not going to be consistent. 
And this is going to be something that I really wanted to present to all of you because it seems very simple to get rid of it, but it just requires a little bit of patience, a little bit of being a little bit diligent and just being consistent. Just doing these four herbs right here that I named. And you can switch off on which ones you can you want to do. So one day you can do ginger. If you're feeling like a little bit different, you want to maybe incorporate a little turmeric in your dinner. So what I would do, just a quick breakdown, is I would do ginger tea in the morning because for some reason waking up for me and drinking ginger wasn't bad for me. You really have to kind of structure your own, uh, you know, your own healing plan. But ginger was good for me in the morning. And then I would have my lunch. I, I brought a tiny little a uh, shaker of turmeric, organic turmeric, and I would have some rice or have some baked chicken. I would put it on the top, eat my turmeric that way. And then echinacea, I would just have a little tea, put it in a, in a tea bag, probably into some boiling water around lunchtime, two or three o'clock. I would have my, my tea. And then later I would either skip a day or so doing all four of them, but I would kind of just sort them out throughout my week. So if you could take those four powerful herbs, sort them out throughout your week, you don't have to have all four of them all at once. In fact, you don't want to always have all four of them all at once. Pick one of the four, heavily lean on one of those four and do that consistently and you'll start seeing some healing happening for you. Keep this in mind. Dealing with a condition like mastoid effusion requires some delicate treatment options and plans. If you're in, in any intense pain or you just feel like you can't do this alone. Please contact your healthcare provider. I do not want you all to use just this video alone as your way of treatment. If you're in really a severe case of dealing with mastoid air cells and problems with that region, you want to be in touch with your provider to let them know what's going on. But if you're at a position where you've seen the provider, you've gotten your good bill of health, but you are dealing with this condition, these remedies, these herbal treatments are going to be very and highly effective given the fact that you already got your clearance from your doctor, that none of these remedies are going to inflame or spike anything in your lifestyle or your body because everybody's body chemistry varies. So you want to be sure to check all these things out. But for me, I was very fortunate that I was able to indulge in all of these herbal treatments and get all the benefits out of it. It just helped me heal. It kept all the infections out of my body. I didn't have any problems with infections. None of that stuff because I would stay on these herbal treatments, uh, the four powerful herbal treatments, and just doing this consistently really helped me uh, make sure that I keep the infection away, keep the, the air pockets and all these other things that can really start building up over time. And you want to start acting now if you're dealing with that as of now. So I hope this video was very helpful for you. If it was, please take time to subscribe to the channel. I try to bring content as often as possible. But in the meantime, I'm going to step out of the J-Well in the studio and leave you in good hands with this video. Like anything else, folks, we're here to simply go back to the basics. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you on the next video.